Beardo Benjo. Hello everyone and welcome to a late night Animal Crossing tips video. Now in this tips video I'm going to show you how to make money quite quickly. Um, it's a bit cheeky um, but it's quite important uh, if you're wanting to earn money fast or earn money in a kind of a hefty hefty way in this game because this game is all about making money um, and there's a lot of ways you can do so one of the ways obviously is to plant fruit from other towns like I've done here um, to get fruit that isn't native to your island and therefore sell it for a high rate um, you can obviously fish you can catch bugs you can do all sorts one of the most lucrative things that you can sell in the game currently is a tarantula now tarantulas sell for 8,000 bells I believe they only come out at between 7 p.m. Uh, in the evening and 4 a.m. in the morning. So there's kind of a, a window of opportunity where you can catch them. But they don't appear that regularly. You do see them. Uh, sometimes they bite you and you faint. But when you do see them and you can catch them, they sell for quite a hefty sum. But there's a way you can generate or farm or harvest tarantulas. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, as a quick precursor to that, I'll just show you my little spider farm. <laughs> so I tested the theory last night to see if it would work. I caught 20 in probably about an hour. I got bitten a lot of, a lot of times. I'm not very good at catching the tarantulas. Um, but if you persevere, you can get a lot of money very quickly by using this technique. So there are my spiders, my little spider army. And I'm going to show you how to do it. First things first, what you're going to need is a Nook Miles ticket. So one of the tickets to travel to the little deserted islands. I'll explain why that's important as this goes on. But first things first, you need 2,000 Nook Miles points. And then you need to use that to buy one of the tickets, which you buy from this little machine here. Uh, redeem Nook Miles. Do, 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 Nook Miles ticket. So you buy one of them. So that allows you to travel to a little kind of a, a deserted island where you can harvest fruit, bugs, fish, materials, all sorts of things. It's kind of a way to go to a different island and get new resources if you can't play online with other people. Uh, maybe because you don't have an, a membership or you just don't know anyone you want to play with so um yeah a way that you can still do that without having an online access once you've bought your nook miles ticket you need to set yourself up um to be ready to go and harvest as many spiders as possible now obviously you, you need to be doing this at the right time of day so it needs to be happening between 7 p.m and 4 in the morning i think that's the time double check online i might put something on the video here just to confirm it i won't check right now um, but i'll put something on the video but make sure it's the right time of course now once you've bought your nook miles ticket make sure that in your inventory you're bringing something like that with you so you want a ladder in case the island you go to has a cliff uh, you also want the uh, vault pole in case the island you go to has a a gap that you cannot traverse without the vault pole and then you just want to take a couple of nets because you're going to be catching spiders so you're going to need a couple in case they break you can make them on the island but that requires you to kind of bring resource along with you and it's just just take a couple of nets uh, same for axes now i've got three threes probably overkill i took two yesterday and that was fine and, and a couple of shovels okay the rest of your inventory um leave it empty because that's that's spider space. That's where all your spiders are going. Okay, here we go. Skip through all this. I want to fly. Roger, roger. Uh, yes, you want to use your Nook Miles ticket. So use Nook Miles ticket. Click on that. Time for takeoff. Once you get to your deserted island, what you need to do is pillage the entire place and when I say pillage the entire place I mean knock everything down so every tree needs to come down and I mean like down once it's down and you can just pick up everything um, that you, you harvest at the moment you're just going to drop it all on the beach at the end um, but for now you just need to be literally cleaning the place out so it's just a barren wasteland okay flowers you can just pick them you don't need to dig them so just pick them up. I, I'm, I'm not 100% certain on uh, the weeds, but just pick them up anyway, because just to be safe. So literally, pick up everything. Cut down every tree, including the stump, and break every rock. Now, I might have screwed myself over here, 
because I've come to an island. No, it's okay. I've got coconuts. Obviously, to break rocks, you need fruit. You need to eat fruit to give yourself the energy to break them. You also need to break rocks. So literally, just cut down everything. Clear the entire place out until it is barren. The only thing you want to see is the basically the little... Uh, when you pick a flower and it just leaves the, the stem without an actual flower on it, that's all you want to be able to see. That's all you want to have left over. Everything else needs to be gone. Now, I'm not going to sit here and do this. <laughs> I'm going to do it, um, but I'll come back in a moment rather than just you watching me cut down an entire island's worth of stuff. So I'll see you in a minute. That took absolutely ages. Um, <laughs> it actually takes about 15 minutes, but it depends on the island you've got. This one was very flat um, and it was just all all landscape that needed clearing so bamboo rocks uh, trees and flowers what i've done though is completely cleared it out so you'll see now that there is nothing here it is completely barren my inventory is full however so i've not got any room for spiders so what you need to do is just drop everything you picked up um just drop it on the beach doesn't really matter where you drop it just just drop it um if you want to take any of it back that's absolutely fine obviously the the idea here is to bring back as many spiders as you can because they're worth a lot oh, i've worn the flower put your hat back on um but if you want to bring some stuff back like i'm going to take back that fossil and why wouldn't i and i'm going to take back some uh, some bamboo it's entirely up to you but the idea i assume really is just to see how much money you can get so it's, it's entirely up to you. If you want to take back 20 spiders, do it. If you want to take back 10 spiders and then whatever you found on the island, do it. It's not a problem. There's no wrong way to do it. Okay, so once you've dropped everything on the beach that you don't want to take back with you, so I've got dropped all this stuff here, you're free to start catching spiders. Now, the idea really here is that because you've cleared the island out of flowers, trees, rocks, and other things that the, that the, the bugs spawn onto, you give the game no choice but to spawn you a smaller selection of bugs, and that includes tarantulas. So, in theory, I should start seeing some pretty much straight away populated into this space. Oh, forgot to pick these up. Shocking. Now, if you're not seeing a spider, it's absolutely fine. Just run around, because the game will have populated a bug somewhere. It might just be the little... Um, you kind of get like little wood lice type things on the, uh, on the rocks by the sea. So just keep running around. Ah, there we go. Spider number one. Tip for catching them, when they put their legs up, just stop walking. You can usually get a few steps in and then wait for them to put their legs back down. I can probably get him from there, but I'm not going to chance it. Here we go. Cool. Tarantula number one. I should, in theory, be able to rack up a bunch more fairly quickly. There we go. There's another one. So run around, chase away the bugs you're not interested in catching, and it should just be the little tiger beetles and I forget what they are. They're not wood lice, but they look like that. They're on the rocks by the sea. Just chase them away, keep running around, doing laps, chase away anything you don't want, and just wait for the game to give you tarantulas because it will. It will just populate you tarantulas if you're patient enough. Last night when I got 20, took me took me a little while, but as I say, I got bitten a lot of times. It took me probably an hour, but I could have done it a lot quicker if I wasn't so uh, careless running around and, and getting bitten. If I'd taken my time with the catching, I probably would have done it a lot, lot quicker. Um, but it all depends on your island as well. I've got quite a big island here. A lot of ground to cover. Oh, there's one. Oh, bollocks. Okay, so I've proven that it works, but now being chased, I won't be able to catch this one. I'm garbage at spinning and catching them. Done. There we go. So I've got three already in probably 10 minutes. If you keep this up, it's a great way to earn money. Feels a little bit cheesy. Um, feels a little bit like gaming the game, but if you're comfortable with it, it's a great way to earn money. Um, and I know people play this game in a lot of different ways. I know some people time travel. I'm not a big fan, but I'm happy to do this. It's got a lot of different ways you can play the game. So if you're interested in getting big money fast, it's a great way to do it. Plus, you get a lot of resources as well. So there you go. That is how to make your very own spider island stock up on tarantulas and then make bank or bells uh, very, very quickly. I hope you enjoyed. See you soon for another one. Take care.